Hello and good afternoon to you. I'm Mitch McCoy here at KRK4 and Fox 16 uh, coming up on one o'clock here. Time now 1254. We're following uh, a breaking news update for you this afternoon. Uh, moments ago, the Little Rock Police Department put out uh, an updated report related to uh, what state fair officials call a well orchestrated heist uh, from a gun show over the weekend. Um, if you were watching our newscast last night, you may have seen this story. Uh, LRPD had not released that incident report uh, as of yesterday. They released it um, today after multiple uh, requests for that. Um, so we just got the incident report and we're learning that 18 guns and more than 450 rounds of ammo, gun parts, and body armor was stolen from a gun show at the Arkansas State Fairgrounds on Sunday morning. Uh, LRPD got the call around 3 a.m. Sunday uh, related to this, a security guard at the gun show, and, and we're reading the report right now, uh, a security guard at the um, State Fairgrounds said that he, during patrol, he saw a back door open with a, some of the chain from the fence cut um, and that's when he called LRPD uh, and so at that point officers got there they saw that chain on the fence cut and um, and, and they started uh, going through uh, the state fairgrounds clearing it and, and trying to get um, information to what happened inside the state fairgrounds uh, and so at this point uh, they were able to look at security footage they say they saw um, a um, suspect, uh, a black man wearing a camo jacket, a black beanie, um, and white shoes uh, going through uh, the state fairgrounds, basically stealing whatever he possibly could. Um, and this is where we're at now. We now uh, are at this point where LRPD is involved in this investigation, along with, uh, we just confirmed a little uh, while ago, that uh, the ATF, the uh, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives is involved in this uh, investigation, now turning from a local to also a federal investigation at this very hour after we're learning 18 guns and more than 450 rounds of ammo was stolen from the state fairgrounds on Sunday morning. LRPD getting that call around 3 a.m. We're still trying to dissect this incident report that we just got from this from the LRPD because again, as I mentioned at the very top here, we asked for this report yesterday. We were unable to get it. We just got it today. So there's a lot to go through here. Um, and so we did um, as we're going through this report, we're also seeing that um, officers found a sheet behind the building and you see that Hall of Industry video that we shot yesterday. That is where this gun show um, was taking place over the weekend. Officers say they found a white sheet um, and they found um, a rifle. They found rifle parts scattered across the floor um, and officers have found two drum magazines, one AK-47, a 40 round magazine and one AR-15 pistol brace. So we're talking about an incredible amount of, of gunfire um, and gun parts and weapons on the streets of Little Rock. And now LRPD is involved in this investigation along with uh, the ATF. So we have um, uh, this entire story on our website right now, kerk.com and on fox16.com. And of course, as soon as um, we get updates to this story, we will certainly pass it along to you. But I do want um, to, to just make point uh, for folks who, um, you know, may not have been to the Arkansas State Fairgrounds or they're not sure where uh, what we're talking about here. We're talking about the Arkansas State Fairgrounds, which is uh, right uh, south of downtown, minutes away from downtown, right off of West Roosevelt, um, not far from uh, the Pulaski County Sheriff's Office, the Pulaski County Regional Detention Facility, and right across the street, I'm circling the mouse right here from the Little Rock Fire Department. Uh, and so this was where uh, that heist took place. State fair officials telling us that this was a well orchestrated heist that happened 
early Sunday morning. LRPD getting that phone call around 3 a.m. We will have much more on this story as it continues to develop throughout the day. Uh, look for updates on fox16.com, krk.com. Of course, our newscast starting at 4 p.m. Uh, we'll continue to work with some of our police sources, not just at LRPD, but at the ATF as well as we now know that federal investigators, federal agents are now involved in this investigation. For now, I'm Mitch McCoy. It is now one o'clock here at KRK and Fox 16. Just a uh, note for you, uh, for folks that uh, coming up at 1:30, Governor Asa Hutchinson is holding his weekly COVID-19 briefing. We will stream that right here on the device that you're watching. For now, I'm Mitch McCoy. Have a good afternoon.